Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Carmen with Carmen's Treasures. And yes, this is going to be a little different today, guys. But uh, I know all of you guys have been listening to the news. And well, you know, I think we need to heed the warning, guys. Especially us that have, you know, underlining condition like asthma or emphysema or... Whatever it is, guys, you know, I believe that, you know, we should get prepared. And, you know, as you guys know, if you were to order any type of mask, there's nothing online or whatever, whatever. So, you know, I told David last night, I said, you know what? I'm going to sit here and I'm going to create my own mask. I am not going to say, I'm not going to believe what people are saying. Oh, the masks don't even help. You know what? Any type of... uh measurements that you take to protect yourself is good okay so i'm gonna take this off guys because i want to show you guys how i made this okay and i let me tell you guys i don't have a sewing machine i made this by hand okay i made this by hand and you can do it too and also i wanted to share with you guys Let's see. This has a wire here that I put in. So it latches onto your face right here, you know, and you can't, anything can't get in through there. Then also it has a pocket. So I have decided that I'm going to take a coffee filter because I, you know, a coffee filter, I'm going to fold it up. I'm going to put a plastic in between here, guys. Okay? A plastic in between there. Fold it up so that it fits nestled in the pocket. Okay? So this is the pocket right here. I'm going to put that in there. Okay? And I'm going to hide that in there. There you go. It's got a filter in there, you know. This is what I could come up with, with what I can afford to protect my family and to protect myself, guys. Okay? Um, you can do it however you want, but this is what I came up with, and I'm happy with what I did. And guys, I didn't, you know, a lot of a lot of a lot of you guys are gonna say, oh, um, I don't have a sewing machine. Well, guess what, guys? I didn't make this with a sewing machine. Everything is hand-stitched and glued. Because on top of that, whatever seams, I, I not only stitched it, but I glued it too. So, and this is the way it looks, you know? And I thought I would share that with you guys. Because, you know, you're sitting around. You can protect yourself, guys, and not have to, you know, that's what I made. And so I'm going to continue making a couple more of these for my family members. I have my daughter traveling at the end of the month. So I think I'm going to create a couple of these for her and my granddaughters, guys. So, yeah, tell me what you guys think. And just wanted to share that with you. I think it's important that we protect ourselves, guys. You know, um, this is not something to... Sh uh, just shove off, you know, I mean, and I, and I, I, as a believer, yeah, I, I know that the blood of Jesus covers me, but even then Jesus told, you know, and when Joseph was, uh, chosen to be the governor of, uh, Egypt, you know, and in the dream he had that the Lord revealed to him or to the, to the king, Joseph interpreted it. And, you know, you know, the, the, the skinny cows and the fat cows, seven skinny cows is seven, uh, fat cows. And what it meant was seven years of abundance and seven years of, you know, of not having. So, you know, God gave Joseph wisdom and he got prepared and Egypt was spared because 
they heed the warning and they prepare themselves. And I think us as being Christians, you know, we can't just shrug something off like that. All oh, the blood of Jesus covers me. And I believe that a hundred percent. Okay. But you know, we have to be wise on what we decide to do, guys. I believe that God does protect us, you know, but if he's, t he's also tells us in the word that, uh, uh, you know, Things don't come until you have a warning sometimes or most of the time. And if you don't want to prepare, then that's okay on you. But I'm getting prepared. I'm getting prepared. I have to do what I have to do to protect my family. So I hope that you guys do the same. So from not 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 from now on that I go out, I will wear, be wearing one of these and gloves as well. Plastic gloves. Because everything you touch, you don't know if it's the money contaminated. We don't know. Exchanging money and everybody's hacking and coughing and touching this and that. You know what? I told my fiance, wear your gloves and put, before you come home, disinfect that money. Lysol it. You know what he does? He dunks it in water with bleach. Guys, this is not something to take lightly. It's not funny. It's, you know, we are all going through this. This is something that, you know, this has no, no, uh, no color race. Okay. Black, white, Hispanic, Asian, whatever it is, it's going to get you if you don't get ready. Okay. Because we need to get smart about things. And another thing, guys, I had, um, one of these boxes, so I went by the measurements and it's, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to. So you guys can see. Okay. And the reason I'm keeping the mask on is just so you guys can see that. Okay. So this is one of these here. Okay. And this is, I took it apart and took the little uh, things off to make this one. So this is, and in here it has a little, like a little wire, but I put a stiffer wire guys. Because it's better. It, it attaches to my face much better. And I use some of this wire. Okay. This is what I use to put on top of here. So it molds to my face. Okay. So that's that's what I use for that. Then. Okay. The measurements are. Across. Hold on. It's six inches, six inches across guys. Okay. Six inches across and then lengthwise is, um, let's see, five, five inches. Okay. Yep. So five by six guys. That's how wide you need to cut the pattern. So, you know, you can do it and put it in like that. And the pockets. So you can do, I like the pockets. I like the pocket idea, you know, with the coffee filter, coffee filter, put a plastic bag in between. You can put some uh, disinfectant and let it dry a little bit, put it in there and you're good to go, you know? This is all that I have for you guys. Uh, give me a thumbs up, a like, and a share, guys. And if you have any questions on how I made this mask, there's a lot of tutorial on YouTube on how I made this mask, okay? So, yeah, you guys can go and check out YouTube. All right, you guys stay blessed and prayed up. Bye.